It's Tuesday, Tuesday, and I'm here with my expert hypnotherapist and health and wellness coach, Charlotte Spivey from White Little Hypnotherapy. <laughs> and so today we're going to talk about <clears throat> connecting the heart and the head and just making that conscious choice. Tell us more. Definitely. Well, I always teach my clients that there's a negative voice in the head, and so we actually disconnect the head and the heart. So the head is the things that we learn throughout life, you know, it's the negative things that we've remembered. You know, somebody could be in the shower in the morning and they're, talk they're thinking about something that happened 10 years ago. Yeah. Does it, does it help? Does that make you feel good? thinking about that and you have to remember well, where, where am I and it's the head yeah you're in the head people say what's on your mind and you say you know well all these negative things are happening but really what would the heart say the heart would be going well you're healthy you're well look at the things that you've got around you you know look at look at the lovely home that you live in and the family and the friends that are around you and the head goes yeah but look at let's think of all the things that you haven't got and it's a bit of a bully, we've got to yeah. recognise that negative voice. And, and the negative voice will always say the negative things. And we're very good at focusing on that voice and sort of taking on board the things that it says to us that we really don't want to. We wouldn't choose to feel bad, we wouldn't choose to feel depressed or low or have these negative thoughts. We choose to feel good and that's when we the shoulds are in the head, you know, we should do this, we should feel bad. But we need to live in our hearts and we're not trained to um, think and feel from the heart. We're just trained to think from the head. Yeah. So it's really about separating the head, recognising that negative voice yeah. and then hearing that tiny little voice that's very pushed down over the years and recognise all the really great things that it says to you because it will always love you. It will always want the best for you whereas the head will always want the worst. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, that's so common, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so connect. Become aware of those thoughts, firstly. It's that awareness, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. And there's a great technique called thought stopping, which I do in therapy, which is a band around the wrist, and you just snap the band. Yeah. Every time you have a negative thought, so you become aware of the amount of negative thoughts that you have. Yeah. And it's a really great technique. Very basic, very easy. Everybody's got an elastic band, a hair bubble, or a charity band that they can put on their wrist, and every time they have a negative thought, snap the band and go, I just had another negative thought. And then think about where you are, where are you? And most of the time, well all the time you're having a negative thought, you're gonna be in your head. So allow yourself to just to go down into the heart and go, okay, I'm all right. Yeah, and once we get used to doing that, do you think we can form habits of just being more positive because we're aware of our Definitely. head? Definitely, because people think that the head is them. They think that that is them and that's their entire being and it's not. You have to separate that. You know, the head is like, it learns things from school when you weren't good enough. It learns like the negative things that people say to you. Yeah. How many times do you remember the negative comments that people make to you? All the time, you never forget them, yeah. but you, you'll forget all the positive ones. It's because they're locked in here and the, the head's very powerful. Yeah. The heart's very quiet and gentle. Yeah, what a brilliant tip, just something pulling a little band on your wrist to become aware of those negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. You're very welcome. This has been Charlotte Spivey from White Willow Hypnotherapy. And remember that you are enough and you always have been, always will be.